Cracker, you want to get it? Paige Downing is having lunch with her little one, Lucas. And this 18 month old is quite the explorer, making his rounds to visit all the other kiddos, dining with their moms too. He likes to get into everything. He has lunch here drink? five days a week. I probably wouldn't be here if I didn't have daycare. Here is school. Come here. This teen mom is part of the Margaret Hudson program. While the moms are in class, the kids are in daycare just down the hall. So while our students are in class, we're taking care of their babies. And it's not just babysitting. We are a three-star DHS rated facility. We also have national accreditation. That's just the beginning. There's also counseling and health care here, too. The program means a lot, especially since 70% of pregnant teens nationwide don't graduate high school. Here, it's a different story. For the ones who continue with us after they've uh, had their baby and stay with us for the parenting portion of the program, I would say that we have about 95% of those students that actually graduate. While the program helps teen moms, the executive director says prevention is what's lacking in Oklahoma. We provide secondary prevention so that they won't have a second child, but there needs to be primary prevention going on in the schools, in the homes, even in the churches. We're going to deal out cards. Prevention is in the cards in Tulsa County. At least that's part of Paula Royce's mission. Here she's visiting eighth grade girls to talk about life and making good decisions. Girl Power is really just a girls program to empower young women to help them make healthier choices, give them access to resources. That's the same goal Royce has as a member of the Tulsa Pregnancy Prevention Coalition. We think of it as education and access to information um, because we feel like oftentimes Young girls make bad choices because they are not educated in the choices or the outcomes, and then they don't know where to access resources or access services once that they're in a situation. So the coalition combines nonprofits, government agencies, school districts, and churches to get the message out. It's a start, but both Royce and Jackson say more prevention is needed in the classroom. The Margaret Hudson program would definitely support sex education in the school. Legislators introduced two bills this session mandating some sort of sex ed curriculum in public schools, but the bills lost steam. All right, let's see who you have. Still, the programs that are in place seem to be working. I've noticed that the girls really want to know. They really want this information. They want to take care of themselves. And the programs that support moms. Being here, it's made me realize how much the education and stuff is, and they really try to get you to where you need to be. And I'm actually graduating a year early with this program. Lucas has been here since birth. Come here. Now this little explorer and his mom will have new adventures. She's headed to college okay. this fall. Marla Carter, two news works for you. Want a drink? A drink?